closing, we have the founder and vice chairman of the ABN group, Rakesh Wahi, to hear his heart following the passing of a former president of uh, South Africa, Nelson Mandela. How are you feeling, Rakesh? Uh, it's a very sad day, Bron. Uh, when we got the news last night, you know, for the last three, four months, you've been hearing about, you know, his state of health. Uh, and everybody's, I think, been anticipating that this is coming. But when the event actually happens, it really hits you that, you know, he's no longer with us. So I think it was a very sad moment when you called me last night to tell me that this has happened. And I guess, you know, it's a very dark day for South Africa. Just looking at the first time you met Nelson Mandela, we've heard so many remarkable stories over the last, I can't even add up the hours because <laughs> I know we started at about 1.30 uh, in the morning. But remarkable stories about how people have met him for the first time and their expectations have been far surpassed. Is that what happened with you? I guess, you know, uh, I'd been coming to South Africa since October of 2004. And, uh, you know, we were having difficulties in setting up of CNBC at that time. Uh, perhaps the meeting with him was a turning point uh, for me personally, because we almost had given up at one stage. Uh, we weren't being able to, you know, put the building blocks for the channel. And I still remember just before World Economic Forum in 2006, we had requested for a meeting with uh, Madiba and uh, both Zafar and I had gone there to the foundation and I had a chance to meet with him. It was, to my mind, one of the most remarkable meetings because the, just the aura of the person is phenomenal. And, you know, I compare him with Gandhi and unfortunately Gandhi passed on long before I was born. Uh, but the stature of the individuals is almost the same. And I, when we went in to see uh, Madiba, we'd actually carried a crystal peacock. And on that, we had written the inscriptions for your fortitude and courage to bring South Africa to where it is. And he looked at it and he told Zafir and me that, you know, the journey that you both have embarked on is one of the greatest journeys for Africa. Uh, what you're trying to do in terms of changing perceptions of a continent is remarkable. And I wish you the very best of luck. Now, what happened after that was we went for the World Economic Forum. And at the forum, Zafir and I decided, we said, look, come hell or rain, we are going to do this. So we came out of uh, the World Economic Forum and announced that we're going to be doing uh, CNBC Africa, irrespective of the challenges. So it was a turning point for us. And seven years down the line, you are firmly executing on that vision. But I want to talk about another vision. And that was a vision that I assume was prompted by that meeting with the great man himself, the Lily's Leaf documentary. Uh, you know, to my mind, I think this was one of the greatest uh, projects that we've been able to give back to South Africa. Uh, we were in the middle of recession. Uh, there's a friend of mine called John Zenner, who was then the CEO of uh, JP Morgan. And he, uh, uh, or JP Morgan had been funding uh, Lily's Leaf. So he asked me to visit uh, Nick Wolpe. And when I went there, you know, he showed me around, I saw the holograms, it was such a beautiful, uh, it's such a fantastic museum. And uh, so when I was leaving, I asked Nick, I said, uh, is there anything you'd like me to do? Because John definitely wouldn't have asked me to just come here for a, you know, chit chat. And he said, could you do a documentary? So I said, fine. And I didn't know what I was actually getting into when I actually committed to it. Uh, so I came back to the office and I asked people to do a costing in it. And when they gave me the number, I said, man, this is going to be a big one. So I wrote to a lot of uh, corporates across uh, South Africa, and uh, in fact, to most of the listed companies. But you'd be surprised that not one corporate came to participate. And we at the Avian Group actually took on the responsibility, and we funded it. We actually you know, uh, got this done as a three-hour series. And I'm very proud that we were able to give it back to the next generation of South Africans, because otherwise, this history would have been lost. Well, Rakesh, you'll be excited to know that we are going to be playing the Lily's Leaf documentary as soon as we get off this news desk. So thank you so much for sharing your insights with us. That was the founder and vice chairman of the ABN group, Rakesh Wahi. And that's where we leave this special live broadcast, remembering the life of an icon, Nelson Mandela, who passed away last night at his house in Houghton. He will be buried on Sunday the 15th of December in Kunu, and we will continue our coverage throughout the weekend. So please stay tuned. From me, Bronwyn Nielsen, and the rest of the CNBC Africa team who have all worked incredibly hard to bring you this coverage, thank you for staying with us today and enjoy the Lily's Leaf documentary.